Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll discussing with you the extra questions from the chapter methods of separation in everyday life. We have already done our chapter explanation. We have already completed the NCRT exercise solutions. So today I'll be discussing with you some extra questions. So let us start. Okay. So the first question is choose the correct answer. Number one, the process of removing small stones from rice by hand is called correct answer is c hand picking students hand picking is a process in which you can remove small stones or other impurities from rice or pulses by using your hand all right now going to our next question the separation of grains from the stalk is done by threshing Threshing is a process by which you can separate grains from the stalks. All right. Number three. In winnowing, which component gets blown away by the wind? The process of winnowing involves a bamboo tray, which is also called a soup. In that, we have two solids. It, there is a solid-solid mixture. One is heavier component and the other is a lighter component. Now, by winnowing, we use wind. In winnowing, we use wind. With the help of wind, the lighter component gets blown away. And what do we get? We get the heavier component. So the correct answer for this is lighter component. In winnowing, which component gets blown away by the wind? The lighter component. Okay. Number four. Sieving is used when two solids have the same size. Solids are of different sizes. One is a liquid, both are solids. Now, sieving is a method of separation of a solid-solid mixture. Okay, so here two solids are involved and both the solids should be of different sizes. So, the correct answer is 4B. Number 5. The process of obtaining salt from seawater is evaporation. The correct answer is B, evaporation. Okay. What happens with the help of evaporation? The water gets converted into water vapor and you are left with salt. Okay. Number six, threshing machines are used for both threshing and winnowing. Threshing machines are designed in a way that both threshing and winnowing can be done in it. Number seven. The solid left behind after heating salt solution. So as I just told you, when you heat salt solution, the water will disappear in after it becomes water vapor and you are left behind with salt. So the correct answer is 7C. Number 8. Which of these tools is traditionally used for winnowing? I just told you for winnowing, we use soup or bamboo tray. 9. The process of settling down of heavier insoluble particles at the bottom of a liquid is called sedimentation. So what happens in sedimentation? Suppose you take a solution of sand and water. We know that sand are heavier and insoluble in water. So sand will settle down at the bottom of the container or at the bottom of the beaker. Whereas water will be floating above. So, this process is called sedimentation. Okay. Number 10. The process of pouring out liquid after sedimentation is called decantation. So, if we go back to our previous part, you see this is sedimentation. Now, what do you do? You pour this liquid into a neat and clean container. So, sand is left behind and what do you get over here? You get the water. So, this process of separating uh, the sand and the water is called decantation and it is done after sedimentation. All right. Number 11. The process used to separate tea leaves from tea. So, this happens every day in every household and the process is called sieving. Number 12. The separation of butter from curd is done by churning. Number 13, which instrument is used to separate iron nails from dust? So, when we talk about iron nails, how to separate iron nails? By using a magnet. The liquid that passes through the filter paper is called, so 
uh, when we are passing a liquid a solution through a filter paper what happens there is a sediment which is there in the filter paper and then what do we get is called a filtrate so the correct answer is 14a filtrate Number 15. Which of the following can be used as a filter paper apart from the filter paper itself? Cotton, charcoal, sand, all of these. The correct answer is all of these. Cotton, charcoal, sand, all of these we can use. Okay. Number 16. The lighter component that floats on curd during churning is? Correct answer is butter. So, what do you get when you churn the curd you get butter which floats on the top and at the bottom we have the butter milk okay now number 17 the method used by recyclers to separate scrap iron from the waste is magnetic suppression number 18 a funnel plus a filter paper setup is used for obviously filtration okay number okay now we have the fill in the blanks the first one the process of settling of heavier particles is called. So, settling down of heavier particles is called sedimentation. Removing clear water by tilting the vessel after sedimentation is called decantation. The solid particles left on the filter paper are called what is the solid particles left on the filter paper called? We just discussed it. Yes, it is called residue. Number four. The clear liquid collected after filtration is called filtrate. We have already discussed these. In churning, dash floats on the top. What floats on the top? Butter. And dash remains below. What remains below? Butter milk. Magnetic separation is used to separate dash substance from dash ones. You have to separate the magnetic substance from the non-magnetic ones. A dash is used to hold filter paper in place during filtration, a funnel. Decantation is also used while washing dash and dash rise and pulses all right number nine the method of separating lighter and heavier component using wind is called winnowing dash is the process of separating grains from the stalks that is threshing all right now coming to true and false First one, winnowing is done to separate salt from water. Is it true or false? This is false. To separate salt from water, what do we use? We use evaporation. So the correct answer is evaporation is done to separate salt from water. Number two, threshing is done to separate grain from husk. Okay. We have, we don't separate grain from husk. We separate grains from stock. Okay. So, threshing is done to separate grains from stock. So, this is also false. Grains from stock. Okay. Number three. Evaporation helps obtain salt from seawater. This is true. Number four. Handpicking is suitable when unwanted particles are large and few in number. That's absolutely true. If it is very small and if it is large in number, then handpicking will become very difficult and time taken. Okay. Number five. Air is used as a medium in the process of winnowing. True. We use air for that. All the holes of a sieve are of different sizes. False. All the holes of the sieves are of same size. Number seven. Threshers are used only in manual for farming. False. It is done in mechanical farming. 
you can write it here mechanical farming okay number eight magnetic separation is used in industries to remove scrap iron this is true sedimentation and decantation are used only for soluble substance false it is used for insoluble substances a magnet attracts only non magnetic materials false a magnet attract only magnetic materials so now we have matched the following here in column a we have the processes and in column b what do we do using these processes so the first one is threshing. Now we all know that threshing is used to remove grain from the stock. So the correct option, option is F. So 1F. Hand picking. So for hand picking, the correct option is removing stones from rice. Number D. Winnowing. Removing husk using wind. Option A. Evaporation. Separating salt from salt solution. 4E. Churning. Separating butter from curd. 5B. Magnetic separation. Obviously using magnet to remove nails. So 6C. Now here I have a collection of 15 questions which all of you are going to try on your own. And if you face any problem, please write it in the comment section so that I can make the solution sheet for the same. And I will upload the PDF link in the description box or in the comment section all right so please give it a try uh, i can help you a little bit with a little bit of explanation define sedimentation and decantation with suitable example so we have already discussed what is sedimentation sedimentation is when you take a mixture of two substance one is solid other is liquid and the solid is heavier and insoluble in the liquid like sand and water so what happens sand gets collected at the bottom okay so this process is called sedimentation and now when you pour this water which is at the top is into a clean beaker or a clean container then this is called decantation okay so you can give the example of sand solution and you can support your answer with the help of a suitable diagram Number two, what is the principle behind magnetic separation? The principle behind magnetic separation is that we use a magnet and magnet, we know it. What does it do? It attracts magnetic substances like iron. So if you want to separate iron scrap from a, uh, a waste, heap of waste, then what we, which method we use? We use magnetic separation. All right. Number three, name any two methods of separation used by farmers. So threshing is one of the method in which we separate the grains from the stock. Another method is winnowing in which we separate the grains from the husk using wind. Okay. Number four, what is the process of separating grains from the stocks? We just discussed it is threshing. Okay, so I'm discussing few answers with you. Still, you got to try on your own. Name the tool used for winnowing. Which tool do we use for winnowing? It's a bamboo tray. It is also called a soup. All right. What is magnetic separation? I just discussed with you. Name one and one magnetic and one non-magnetic substance. So iron is one magnetic substance and wood is one non-magnetic substance. You can say wood or plastic or glass. These are all non-magnetic substance. All right. Why is sieving not suitable for separating salt and flour? So in sieving, we need solid solid mixture of which one of them is larger in size than the other here salt and flour are almost of the same size so sieving is not suitable for separating salt and flour okay number eight what will happen if we try to filter muddy water using a tea strainer instead of filter paper so if you filter muddy water using a tea strainer because the muddy particles are uh, very small 
it will go down uh, the T strainer and the purpose of filtration will not be solved. Number nine, why is it important to remove impurities from food grains before cooking? So you try cooking food grains without removing the impurities. What will happen when you will eat? You will find stones and other impurities going into your mouth, which will which will make chewing difficult and food unpleasant. Okay, unhealthy also. Number ten, which process is used to separate iron from industrial waste? We just discussed magnetic separation. Okay, so I think I'm solving all for you. Explain the process by which butter is separated from curd. So the process is churning. You have to explain it. So I think you will do that part. Number 12. Name any three materials that can be used as filters other than filter paper. In the beginning, there were some options like sand, charcoal, cotton cloth. So, all this can be used as filter paper other than filter paper, okay. Which parts of the plants are generally used for making Ayurvedic medicines, okay. Uh, we use leaves, stems, okay. So, there are certain parts uh, which is given in your NCRT book and I have also taught in my uh, lecture. So, uh, flower. Okay, so all these parts are used for making Ayurvedic medicines and what is the role of evaporation in the process? So you will see that and you will write your answer and if you don't understand, you just ask me, I will put it in the comment section. Okay, so you need to understand the entire process of making Ayurvedic medicine. All right, number 14, when is sieving used as a method of separation? When there is a solid, solid mixture. of different sizes not of the same size right now what are threshers and how is it useful threshers uh, are those uh, mechanical objects machines okay which is used for both threshing and winnowing okay so how is it useful? Both threshing and winnowing is done in it. So you don't need to do threshing separately and winnowing separately. All right. So these are the 15 questions. If you need any other help, please, please put it in the comment section and like my video and please subscribe to my channel. Share as much as possible. Thank you so much.